Did you always want to be a model there? Um, it was never what I wanted to do. I wanted to be an actress or a musician. You're one of the most recognizable faces right now in the world. Modeling, face of Burberry, and now in movies. What do you prefer? Movies. Yeah. I feel it's my passion. Modeling chose me. I didn't choose it. Mm -hmm. I love modeling. If it was my own choice, I, I mean, I'd, I'd never say no to it, but, um, you know, I, I, I really want to be acting and I really want to do music. But I want to be, I want to be like a crazy cave woman or like a possessed demon child or something, you know, you, I want to be that, that ugly is the most beautiful, do you know what I mean, being able to do that. So what's your dream film role? Oh, I'd, I'd love to be in a movie with um, Meryl Streep and, or a Martin Scorsese movie would be amazing. Or, I don't know, there are so many different kind of things I want to do. Maybe like um, a possessed child demon or an evil something. I don't know, so many different things. Uh, you know, I'd love to be like a possessed demon child or an evil superhero, not superhero, so an evil like villain or something. You know, I never want to be that kind of damsel in distress, maybe. But it's never. I never want to be that look like main because all always in movies they're very sexist. It's always the man is the main and the woman is always the girl who falls in love and it's kind of always like that and I hate that. I want more to make more movies about like leading women, like bridesmaids. It's one of my favourite movies. Scorsese, Tarantino, Spielberg, any of you, Peter Jackson. I'm here. I'm ready. I can do funny faces. I can sing. I can dance. <laughs> Hi me. Jesus Christ. I played June Moon and I played the Enchantress as well. Hey, what brought you into the project? David. David Air brought me to the project. Um, yeah, I met him one night, uh, one dark and stormy night in a London hotel. He told me nothing about the project, just told me a bit about the character. I was, of course, intrigued by not only him, but also the idea of this character. I didn't know anything about what the film was going to be. I think David said I was one of the first people he cast, or one of the first people that he spoke to, which was very strange to me. Um, but I just generally meeting David and knowing his films and being so inspired by his vision of the character and how ingrained he was in the characters in the story, I was signed on from the beginning without a script. How on earth did you prepare for what could be described as a schizophrenic role? Um, for sure. I, I, I think it was just about like finding finding that demon inside myself and exercising it on screen, basically, and really understanding, you know, what June was going through by feeling completely out of control. David described it very well. It's like, if you've ever blacked out drunk and you kind of wake up and you're like, something, when you were asleep, you've gone and like killed a bunch of people and tried to take over the world. So it's kind of just understanding how lost and, and crazy she would feel and out of control of her life, you know, when she's been someone who's been in control most of her life. I don't really remember seeing a movie where, you know, the women got such important, you know, badass roles in a, in a sense where they were always the kind of the, the sidekick or the kind of love interest or, you know, obviously there are more male characters in this movie, but the women... I remember reading it and I was like, oh my God, the girls have the best lines. Like they come out and they're just unforgiving and extremely strong. Um, you know, they're on a par with all the, the guys, which I think is the most, you know, the most special and important part of that. I don't think it has really been done before like this. Um, and I mean, especially with Wonder Woman as well. It's, it's important to find the women's stories in, in this comic book world. Hello, my name is Peter Pavlov. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments what you think about this video. And subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. See you guys later. Bye.